Welcome to this quick overview of Workouts Plus Plus. Workouts Plus Plus is an app for iOS and watchOS that seeks to take um, the workouts that you perform with your Apple Watch to the next level to allow you to configure and customize the display um, and your interaction with your Apple Watch during those workouts in a way that the built-in app really can't. Um, then once you've done your workouts, uh, to hopefully display and, and help you analyze your performance on the workouts that you do. So to start off with, I'm going to start in the configure area uh, where you can configure any number of custom workouts that you'd like. Um, these can be varied by type, you know, for example, outdoor walking, indoor walking, cycling, running, whatever. Um, or you can have multiple workouts uh, for the same type of thing where you configure and change uh, what gets displayed to you. You know, so for example, if you have an interval running workout and a distance running workout, you may have different displays and metrics that you want to show during those. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started by um, adding a new workout and show you kind of how that works. So I'll hit the plus button in the top left, and in this case, I'm going to choose an outdoor run um, and hit add. So it's created this first one here at the top for us. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. Now I'm going to configure this as though it is for a long distance run. So this is the workout phase that I would configure for myself if I was going to go out for a long run. Um, and the, the basic template that came up is pretty close to me, um, but I want to focus in a little bit more on distance. And so I'm going to swipe over um, a couple times, and you can see all the different layouts you get. And I'm going to choose, choose this one, which has a really big distance metric at the top, and then two options for the bottom. Um, so I'm going to leave, leave the, the distance there at the top. Uh, and at the bottom right now, it displays um, duration, um, which is useful, I suppose, but it's not really what I'm interested in when I'm going for a distance run, where I'm focused much more on uh, the, distance, the distance I've gone, not how long I've gone. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and switch over uh, to displaying my heart rate there. Um, that's something that I, I like to see here. Um, and I'll leave pace in the bottom right slot as well, just I think that works well for me. So if I'm going out for a nice long run, I just want to go out and run, you know, I want to run eight miles. I want to be able to see my heart rate quickly and see how fast I'm going. Um, but I can go a little farther. So Workouts Plus Plus has the concept um, of kind of the goals and... Um, you can get haptics and things based on where you are in your zone. So for something like uh, heart rate, which I just showed you, um, you can set this up to be based on the heart rate that you'd like. You can have different coloring. So, you know, right now I can change it so that my, my heart rate goes above my zone, below my zone. Um, it can be a different color. Um, and you can also have different haptics for that based on um, your goals. So you can say that if I'm in right now, it's if I was above 137 beats per minute, and I, if I turn the haptics button on, then whenever um, my heart rate is above 137 beats a minute, I, it will let me know um, with a little you know ding on my wrist, and I can look down and see what's going on there. Um, and I can obviously change the range to be whatever I want. So say, for example, you know, I want to be 146, or the number is, is up to you. But you can also apply this um, to just sort of goals. So like I said, this is a, this is a workout that I'm uh, expecting to do for I want to, you know, when I go out for a long run, I typically run for, say, eight miles. Um, and so I can take the distance slider, now that I have distance selected, and I'll swipe over until I get eight miles. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on haptics for that. And I'm going to make the uh, text turn blue when it's above that. You can choose whatever color you like. So now, when I go out and do my run, um, it'll be white at the top there until I hit my eight miles, at which point I'll get a haptic alert, and the big display on the top will turn blue, which is just a helpful thing for me to know that, hey, I'm done. I can, you know, wrap up my workout. Um, I've done what I need needed to do. Um, you can also name this to make it easier to uh, determine which one it is later, and so I'm just going to go ahead and call this long run, and then hit save. And so now I have a long workout configured so that when I go and do my and do my actual workout, um, I'll have a really customized display that'll work well for long runs. And like I said, you can create as many of these as you like. Um, you can customize them however you like. The goal is for your workouts to be configured in the way that makes exact sense uh, for what you need to do. So once you've configured your workouts just how you like them, you'll then open them up in your Apple Watch. Um, all of the workouts that you configured will be available um, on the main screen from here, and you'll just choose whichever one is appropriate for the workout that you're going to do. So if I select the one that we just configured, um, so I'm going out for my long run, um, I can see the distance, the pace, my, my heart rate, um, and it'll just sort of update as I go. I can get a quick update, and this is configured to be exactly the display that I'd like. 
whenever I'm finished um, with my workout, um, I can either swipe to the left to end it, um, or, and this is a feature that I added because I found for myself that often I find my fingers um, get really sweaty when I'm, you know, running or working out hard, and so it's really hard to tap buttons on the screen because I find when your fingers are wet, um, the Apple Watch screen is, isn't really responsive. Um, so instead, what you can do is if you scroll up on the digital crown, um, you'll see this little progress bar, and you just keep scrolling until you fill that, uh, um, that bar. Um, I, you, know, you have to fill the bar just to make sure that you're doing it intentionally, but you know, it takes maybe about three or four uh, turns all the way around on the crown, and it'll end the workout for you, um, which is just a really convenient thing that you can do no matter how uh, sweaty your fingers might be. Once you end your workout, um, you'll get a, a quick summary, which includes some graphs, um, some indi indi information about your average speed, pace, and duration. Uh, you hit done, and then you can go back to the iPhone and take a look at what the workout was like. So after you've completed your workouts, um, then you can come over into the Workouts tab. And the Workouts tab is a great way of just getting a sense and, and kind of analyzing and understanding the workouts that you've performed. And you can filter this list um, however you like. So say, for example, I just want to see running workouts that were longer than 30 minutes, for example. Um, so here's all my wor long running workouts that were longer than th uh, 30 minutes. And if I select one of these, um, you can see the details and the detail of you know, kind of what that run was for me. So I can see when I did it, how long I ran for, how many active calories, my, my average heart rate, etc. Um, as well as in the bottom, you can get these graphs um, showing you kind of how your heart rate changed, how your pace changed, and your speed changed. Uh, and I know for myself, I find this really helpful um, to go out and when I do a workout, it's, it's nice to kind of record it, but it's also great to just kind of get a sense um, of, of how my heart rate was changing, how my pace was changing, and to be able to compare this uh, between runs over time um, and just kind of really dive into um, your workout at a greater de detail. You can also um, go into the stats area, and this is an area that is mostly just uh, tr trying to help you understand your overall lifetime uh, statistics and performance. It's not something that you'd probably come to on a re very regular basis, but it gives you a sense of, you know, for example, the kind of workouts that you tend to do, um, the day of the week that you tend to do those workouts on, you know, for example, do you tend to run on one day, uh, cycle on another, you can also break them down by time of day. Um, you know, you can see, for example, I tend to do almost all my working out um, in the 8 o'clock hour of the day. Um, then at the bottom, there's also just some kind of interesting sort of summary stats, you know, to see how many miles you've recorded. Uh, and this is not just in Workouts Plus Plus. These stats are drawn uh, from all of the workouts that are recorded in your health app. Um, so if you've recorded them with a built-in app or, with, you know, a RunKeeper or Nike Fit or whatever it is, any of those stats that are available uh, in the health app are, are aggregated here. And so, like, you know, it's kind of fun to be able to see that um, I've recorded 400 miles um, worth of runs and that I typically run about 5K. Um, these are just some interesting things that you can pull out of here and just, you know, give you a sense of how, how you're using your Apple Watch to, uh, to be healthier. That's it for this overview. Uh, hopefully that gives you a good sense of Workouts++ Plus Plus and you'll give it a try in the App Store. Thanks.